A close up look at the sometimes cozy relationships between doctors and drug companies. Big Pharma routinely pays doctors to promote its products. A new report you're seeing first on CBS This Morning explains why you will soon be able to get a clearer picture about your doctor's possible connections to the companies that make the drugs that, drugs that they may prescribe. Charlie Ornstein from ProPublica has been investigating this practice. Good morning. Good morning to you. So we know that doctors and Big Pharma have a close relationship. Of course, they meet all the time. What's troubling about this or what concerns you? Well, what's happened for decades is pharmaceutical companies have worked with doctors both to develop new medications to treat, you know, conditions, but also to help promote those medications. And the promotion part has gotten a lot of attention in recent years because drug companies have paid hundreds of millions and sometimes billions of dollars to settle lawsuits that have accused them of improper marketing and giving kickbacks to doctors. And so this has gotten a lot of attention over the years because of that. Because so you may be suggesting that they're prescribing drugs not not because their patients may need them, but because they're being paid by pharma to prescribe them. Well, it's illegal to give kickbacks to a doctor to prescribe drugs, but it is legal to give money to doctors to help promote your drugs. Mm -hmm. Some doctors make tens of thousands or even hundreds of thousands of dollars a year beyond their normal practice just for working with the industry. Now, I was going to ask you how much money are we talking about here, and you just answered that. And why should we care if a doctor is making extra money? Why should I be concerned? Well, when you go to your doctor, Gail, you trust that your doctor is going to give you the best medication for you. Um, but there's a lot of different interests that your doctor has to take you know, in, in mind as they're prescribing you drugs. And it makes sense for you to make sure as you're paying more of the cost of your medications that they're trying cheaper alternatives first, a generic drug, for example, or encouraging you to try um, non-medication alternatives to reach your goals perhaps first. So what will <clears throat> this new Sunshine Law do? Right, so the Affordable Care Act requires all pharmaceutical and medical device companies to publicly report all payments to doctors over $10. So patients for the first time will have a full window into how, how closely their doctors work with the pharmaceutical industry, and they'll be able to raise this with their doctors if they have questions. And are you encouraging us to ask our doctors, and how do you do that, Charlie, without sounding confrontational? Because I do think it's something that patients would want to know. Every patient has sort of an individual calculation, um, and we're not encouraging you to confront your doctor and to sort of um, bring turmoil into that relationship. <laughs> but there are ways to raise these questions in a, in a gentle way. You can ask about the nature of their payments, but even if you didn't want to raise the payment, you can ask about other alternatives. You can ask about um, drugs that your insurance company will cover. You can ask about changing your lifestyle first. But if your we doctor want doesn't want to answer questions, you may have the wrong doctor. <laughs> right. What we tell folks yeah. is that if your doctor is not willing to engage with you on this topic, that perhaps it's worth looking for a different doctor. We always want to provide both sides of a story, so let me just read from you what Pharma says about your your report. They say, quote, the discovery of new and improved medicines is dependent on research collaborations between physicians and biopharmaceutical companies. Clinical trials sponsored by biopharmaceutical companies have led to breakthroughs for people suffering from cancer and other life-threatening diseases. So is there a negative to this sunshine law? Well, there's no question that doctors working with pharma to create new products is in the benefit of all Americans. I think the issue that, that is controversial is working to help promote those drugs. And many leading academic medical centers and bioethicists say it's perfectly you know, responsible for doctors to work with pharma on the creation of drugs, but leave the marketing to sales representatives, not to doctors. Thanks, Charlie. Good Thank to have you. you here. Thanks.